Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the fastest, most efficient way to level up your trade skills in Lost Ark. Now, I stumbled across this trick a few days ago. I cannot believe the amount of people that just simply don't know it exists. Before we dive on in, today's video is sponsored by AoeAH.com. These guys have some of the lowest prices for in-game currency and items of practically any game you can imagine. Link is down in the description below. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so yes, I am on Lullaby Island, but this is applicable literally anywhere. This is for an example, and Lullaby Island doesn't have any enemies, so you can just freely farm whatever you damn well please. But there are many, many more locations that is actually going to be better than Lullaby Island because it is all about how many nodes you have near you. So let me explain. While Lullaby Island is one of the best farming places to level up your trade skills, this is going to be true for your foraging, your lumberjacking, also your mining, not necessarily the other trades, but these three in particular are what we're going to be focused on in this video because the other trade skills aren't really applicable. So what am I talking about? First of all, guys, you need to be using these. If you're not, this is going to shave off hours and hours of your time. These are Leap's Essences. So this increases your life energy consumption by 3000 tool durability loss is like plus 100% but it doubles your trade skill XP trade skills or materials gain. So this is effectively going to shave off 50% of your time farming when you're leveling out your trade skills. And there are also potions that restore your life energy but I believe those are only available in the store or a merry shop. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments but that's not what this video is about. Okay, so up to this point, you're probably unimpressed. Now, up here in the top right-hand corner, this is your channels. This is essentially the instance you choose to be in. So if you go to the top right and you click on the arrow down box, it will show you each instance or channel and then the population density thereof. So what you want to do, and this is especially good for players who are just starting leveling their trade skills. You can't always farm all of the nodes. Sometimes they're level 10, level 20s, you know, whatever. What you can do if you find a place with a crap load of nodes such as this. So there's two trees and then there is a frosty mushroom over here. So I can forge this. It's really good. So let's go ahead and change channel to uh, channel six, for example. This node is instantly back and now you can farm it again. Now, sometimes you run across a node that you cannot farm. Well, guess what? Just change the channel and more than likely it's going to change to something you can farm. And now all the people who are farming all of my God given right resources are now gone and all the re nodes are reset and yeah so you just go on about your day farm a few nodes find a nice little triangle a little circle for you to start farming in as soon as you deplete all those resources just go up here in the top right hand corner change your channel now this is on a 15 second cooldown so keep that in mind and there you go it's as simple as that if you want the most efficient way to possibly level your trade skills then this is going to be it guys so find you a nice little route for you to farm in, farm everything, go up here, change the channel. We need to come back. All the nodes will be changed. Hopefully reset. Hopefully there's not a crap load of people here also farming your resources, right? And you're good to go. Okay, that's it. That's pretty much all you need to know, guys. Again, if you find a location that has a crap load of nodes that you can just circumvent and farm in a circle, man, go for that one instead of Lullaby Island. I just like this because there's no enemies for you to worry about and super armors you have to cast and yada yada. So if you found any information at all helpful in this video, I would really appreciate a like and sub. And before I go, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who keep this channel afloat. And you guys are absolutely amazing. If you want to help support the channel and help keep me motivated, keeping making blah, 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 guides like this, link is down in the description below to my YouTube memberships, Patreon, and also the Discord. If you want to come by and just chat. Thanks for watching today's video. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.